to punch harder. Now today I'm very excited. I'm at the National MMA Academy. I have Thor Davis with me, who is uh, my business mentee, but also martial art master. Okay, teaching for 20 years, owning a school for 13. This master's gym, I want to thank him for providing space today so we can train here and film here. But I thought maybe I could just grab him while he was training other people to make a quick video for you on how to punch powder. So Thor, maybe show us how do you, like what's some of the mistakes that people make when it comes to want to punch hard? So the main thing you don't want to do is focus on your arms because you really can only do so much with your arms to punch. Mm. Okay, so when I want to punch really hard, I'm not thinking about loading up my arm or swinging my arm really hard. It's actually all in my legs, okay? So the reason why I don't have to load up my punch before I punch is because my legs are already spring loaded, okay? So if you look at my stance here, I've yep. shoulder width, shoulder length, and I've got my back heel off the ground and I've got my hips stacked behind my head, okay? Mm. If my head is directly above my hips, I have no head movement and I have a hard time pushing. If mm. my hips are back, mm. okay, I've got really good head movement and yep. I can push on a spring. So if this puts off the ground, not only can I step in easier, I can also step back easier, mm. okay? But I can also develop power right off the back without having to load up. So feet shoulder width, shoulder length, knees bent, hips back, heel off the ground. And then from here, all my arm is really doing is this. Okay? Everything else is legs, body, shoulders, turning, and coming back. You also notice that my head does not go past my feet. Mm. Okay? I don't want to throw my body weight into the punch like this. I want to sit down on my punch and use my legs and body turning for power. Let's try that. So from here, you notice my arm is only doing this. Okay? okay. So there's no power in my arm. It's my legs. So my legs are spring loaded, I don't have to line up, or load up, sorry. I just have them ready to go. I turn. Nice. Okay. You notice that that didn't have a big wind up. It was just from here, straight through. Your body's like a transmission, okay? All the power is here. It's gotta be transmitted all the way up to the end of my punch, okay? So again, hips are back, hands up. Watch this spring here, turn. Nice. Okay, one more time. Notice I don't load up and I don't pull my head forward, okay? Spring loaded, turn. Boom. Okay, just like that. Now after you punch, do you naturally just let it come back? Always or you... coming back, yeah. So there's a bit of a bounce. Okay. So when you hit it, it is easier to just Boom. your hand back. If you miss, you tend to lose your balance a little bit. That's why I want to sit down on those punches. If I do miss, I'm not over committing and losing control. I'm sitting, sitting down like this, I'm punching and I'm controlling it back. So if I do miss, boom, I'm right back with my hands up. Mm, awesome. So that's how you punch harder. Now, are there any drills and exercises you recommend for someone to practice? Do they, maybe in the beginning, do they break it down as individual punch before they learn the combination? Yeah, I would practice the same punch over and over and over again, just to get your timing down and accuracy. There's no point in throwing a whole bunch of combinations if each individual punch doesn't work. Yeah. And then you always punch horizontally, like what's, what's your favorite? Different styles are different ways. What you don't want to do is try and bring your shoulder up too much like mm. this. Unless you try to do an overhand, okay? Yeah. You just come straight from here because as soon as I do this, I get kicked in the ribs, yeah. right? So I want to keep this as a shield. Beam. I don't need to load up with my arm because like I said, there's not a lot of power in your arm. It's, it's really here. So there's no need to do this with your elbow. It's just a straight line, straight line. It's okay to turn your fist as well. Some people punch here, some people punch here. I twist it to about level, mm. but I don't bring my elbow up. I come here, straight, and I'm back to guard again. Fantastic. So that's how you punch harder. Make sure you also check out the National MMA Academy, 30,000 square feet, brand new gym. I mean, we are training here, we're filming here. It's pretty awesome. What's the best way to do that? You got the website or something like that? Uh, Facebook is the best right now. Facebook, search National MMA Academy, probably the number one place, the number one gym in Canada, I would say, definitely. Thank you.